An organisation normally involved in planting trees by the thousands is busily drowning them by the ton in the River Murray. Greening Australia is heading a project to return snags and native fish to our troubled river. Compared with the 1800s, the river runs free. Most snags were dragged out during the days of the paddle steamers to provide a clear passage. A specially designed riverboat, the Grappler, was employed full-time pulling snags. It's quite odd, isn't it? The many thousands upon thousands of man-hours that went into painstakingly clearing the river of snags back in the days when the riverboats ruled. And here we are spending thousands upon thousands of dollars painstakingly putting them back again. Because it's now realised snags are a natural and vital part of the river ecology. When trees on the banks die, they topple into the river and become the perfect habitat for native fish, not, thankfully, the dreaded European carp. It's not only habitat for large predatory fish, um, including Murray cod, uh, you know, it provides a whole range of habitats for smaller fish, um, right down to the algae that grows on the, on the logs. Greening Australia, backed by other environmental groups, is helping nature along. Tons of red gum logs are being dropped along the riverbank adjacent to the Piewalla wetlands, upstream from Murray Bridge. They're weighed down with scrap concrete to hold them on the bottom until they become waterlogged. The project should produce results almost immediately. Murray Nickel, 7 News.